kay Defense. Takagala na naman tayo. Nandito tayo kay Power Cycle Honda Flagship Store ni General Santos City. Honda Big Bikes po yan, my dear friends. And ayan o, oh, one of the biggest building I could see for Honda. And ayan po. And sana all, may invitation. And massive shout out to Power Cycle and all the marketing department ni Power Cycle. Naalala pa nila ako. Binigyan tayo ng pagkakataon na i-test ride ang kanilang motosiklo. Kakarating pa lang natin. Damn! <laughs> and this is the 2019 CB 1000R. Hindi naman tayo madamot eh. Ayan o. Oh. And pinayagan tayong mag-rev bump, mag-ingay as we wish so. And sana hindi tayo makisabay kasi may seminar sila doon. Pero let's give it a little bit tip para malaman nyo kung ano yung sound nitong stock exhaust ni Honda CB 1000R. Retro classic po siya And this is what you are going to get And LED po yan lahat my dear friends It has hazard lights So no doubt na big bike talaga to <coughs> And this is what we are getting on the rear My dear friends And so Ayan brake light Very beautiful down The size of this motorcycle I cannot mention I believe so nasa 200 plus siya Pero inupuan kasi natin kanina Kaya ayan, uh, masasabi natin light and nimble sa Kukuha na lang din natin para makita nyo po kung gano'n ka, ka approachable for 5 foot 6 tall rider itong motorcycle na to Average Asian height, 5 foot 6 tall rider ng test sa pagliko para kang sa smaller displacement di lang ako sigurado kung tama yung tansya ko madali lang talagang lumiko para sa akin sa kaliwa kesa sa kanan pag nagpe-premera ka Massive shout out to Ma'am Roma and the whole marketing crew for this such great opportunity. And congrats na rin kay Power Cycle on the big bikes kasi nga today is their grand opening. And isipin nyo my dear friends, na meet lang natin sila sa Davao nung nag cars and bike annual convention. Ayun, kasama na natin sila ulit. First impression is ang kaan talaga niya. Low speed easy to handle pwedeng pwede sa taller and bigger beginner rider na walang experience kala ko magiging problema ang pag alis sa first gear pero swabe ang kanyang throttle walang quick shifter pero you may do clutchless upshift hindi ko sinasabing maganda siya sa light traffic pero this is a little bike it's meant to be treated right to its power hindi pa ako sigurado sa numbers Pero sure ako lagpas 100 horsepower at 100 newton meters of torque ito. Sa tingin ko sa handling niya, mag-consider mong bumili ng ganito kung may pang cash ka kesa mag 400 cc. Naka sport mode ako and still easy to handle. Mahanap mo ang aggressiveness niya pag tumaas na ang RPM. Ang downside niya, kung naghahanap ka ng aggression sa bawat gear ng motorbike, then consider a sport bike instead. Kasi ito super suave. It's not a slow bike considering this has a 140 horsepower and 100 newton meters of torque. Suave lang talaga siya. Ito na siguro yung sinasabi nilang liter bike but handles like a 400. Now Honda is well known for its neck. I just wish na meron tong bike na to ng quick shifter and cruise control. I did some light clutchless upshifting. The reason why I think the condition nila ng cruise control, considering this bike is not meant for longer rides, okay naman po ang positioning niya at hindi nakakangalay. Sa tingin ko sa positioning niya sa legs at saka yung fan ng radiator, hindi masyadong natatamaan. 
hindi rin siya masyadong mainit sa legs banda kahit ang bilis uminom tong bike na to isipin nyo yung 100 degrees celsius na natagad so masasabi mo talaga it's also built for comfort I may not or may have broken the law of camera pero dahil sa lakas niya kung saan ka lang naman sa sport bike or anything na mataas ang windscreen I don't consider this as your bike I think on the build a capable leader bike na pwedeng i-accommodate ang needs ng mga beginner rider and when I said beginner, syempre may experience na sa smaller displacement at saka pwede ring ma-enjoy ng mga pro this is a bike to appreciate talaga it's fast, it's light and nimble with a seat height friendly approach pati ear goes niya, hindi nakakapagod eh. grabe Congrats to Honda Power Cycle. Sila ang pinakaunang nagkaroon ng service center na pwede mag-handle ng multiple big bikes dito sa Jensan. Sabi ni Ma'am Roma, test ride all you want daw. So, sa tingin ko, ito ata yung end ko ng motorbike instead of the XSR 900 or unless ilalabas na ni Yama ang kanilang XSR 1000. On the looks department doesn't look like a Japanese bike it gives me an impression na para siyang Italian I'm not saying that it's bad the quality on the looks kasi parang masasabi mo bulky siya pero magaan and napaka futuristic din ng kanyang harapan if I get to own one of these I won't stop looking at it in the morning while I'm drinking the coffee. So ayan, sa mga nagtatanong, Honda, gay na ba tayo? <laughs> Malalaman yung sagot sa ating pagbaba. Ayon sa ating pagbaba. Okay lang bomba ko. One last bomba. So that's the beauty of this bike right here. The DRLs, bago natin ibalik, ayan, oh, ayan, ganda talaga eh. Mmm, kangaligil. Parang siya, mmm, factor kumbaga. And that's what I like about this bike. And 